Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently did a video where I showed you guys how you can use markdown files to put in rules and data for the AI coder of your choice to use. But, it was actually a prelude to today's video because now you know that you can use markdowns to reference them in Klein or Ader and use them to give long prompts and rules. Now that's good. But what if you need to provide a long documentation of a service you want to use with Klein or Ader? Well, you can copy and paste web pages, but it's very tedious. And generally, you cannot put it in the proper markdown format without giving it a lot of work. I was having this issue a lot because, half of the time, I forgot to copy something, and sometimes it wasn't in the proper format, which is a pain. But I have figured out a pretty good workflow for this, and it uses Crawl 4 AI combined with our Markdown files. Now, you may be thinking, what is Crawl 4 AI? Well, as the name suggests, it's an open source library that allows you to crawl web pages and make the data from the web page AI ready to be used with AI models because what it produces as a result after scraping is a markdown file. So basically, we can use our old workflow of using markdowns and then introduce some new markdown files to keep the documentation data for something we may want to use generated from Crawl 4 AI, which should be pretty amazing. Now, the question arises, how will we be using it all? So, let's talk a little about Crawl 4 AI and how it works. In simple terms, it's a basic web scraper that can turn web pages into markdown format text that can be used by LLMs. You just need to write this little code, give it a URL here, and it will give you text. You don't need to connect it to any LLM for the basic web page to markdown conversion because it uses its own rejects patterns and stuff. So, this won't cost you any token money. There's also a bunch of other stuff it can do. For example, you can connect it to an LLM and then ask that LLM to structure the scraped data in some other way that you may want. The best part about it is that it's very easy to use with very, very simple code. I won't go into too much detail because it would get a bit technical and coding related, but I will be posting a full tutorial video for it in the members only section in a day or two. So you can take up a membership and watch that when it comes out. There are also a bunch of other videos as well, so check them out as well. It starts from just $5 and also supports the channel. Anyway, basically, what this will allow us to do is give crawl for AI any web page, then it will crawl it and make a markdown file for us. Then we can just reference that markdown file in Klein or Ader and use it. So, let's get started, and let me directly show you how you can make it work. First of all, you'll need to get it installed. To do that, just copy this command and paste it into your terminal. Then, Copy this command and paste it as well. Once done, we can start using it. Now, to use it, what we'll need to do is create a Python file and basically copy this Python script and paste it into the file we just created. Now, if you run this, you'll see that it gives you the result for the web page mentioned here. But, you wouldn't generally want a news site here. Instead, you'd want a documentation site or an article site over here. So, let me just add this documentation page of the 11 Labs API, because if you remember, I had a lot of hassle when trying to use the 11 Labs API in the Flutter video I did. Anyway, I have added it here. Now, if I run this, you can see that we have the 11 Labs API scraped here, and we get a markdown structure. But we can't copy this and manually paste it because it would take three more seconds from my life, which I can use to sleep. So, instead, I will spend three hours making it more automated. So, what we'll do is make this Python program much more interactive. 
it would look like this. I have made it dynamic now. Here comes the input of the URL and the file we want to save the markdown to. Then we take that URL and file name, run it through crawl for AI, and it will do that and save it. You can do something like this by just asking ChatGPT to convert the basic code to dynamic with a prompt like this, and ChatGPT will do it. Or you can also just use the code I have here. So that's good. Now, if I run it, I can give it the URL and file name, which will be a markdown file, and then it'll be created. Now, we can see it here. You can see that this is a pretty good markdown file for the documentation I provided. It's pretty good to see. Now, we can just reference it in Klein or Ader and ask it to implement the API based on the markdown file's data. Let's start with Klein. So, what we can do is reference the markdown files in the chat like this. Let's just reference the documentation markdown file. Now, let's ask it to make a simple implementation of the API. It's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. So, this looks pretty good. It did what we wanted, which is just amazing. I think this is a great thing, if you want to give it the data of stuff it may not have. This is just amazing, for sure. Let me also show you how you can use the markdown file with Ader. So, to do that, just go to the project directory. Now, start Ader. Here, you can add the file with the read command, and then you can ask it to do anything. Let's ask it to also make a simple snippet of the code. Okay, it's doing it now. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. So, this looks super cool. It did what we asked, and the code is also fully correct. So, it is reading everything pretty well. It's just amazing. I think this is a great workflow if you want to give your AI coder access to a web page or anything like that. Also, Ader and Klein both have options to scrape web pages, but it's a hassle to use. You can't edit the data. It scrapes. You cannot view if it scrapes it correctly, and you can't scrape multiple pages if you want. So, this is super cool to use. I think this is a really great workflow, for sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, Bye.